Don't miss any of the action at Oceanside, Chula Vista, Torrey Pines, and many more San Diego schools. Download the free UT Preps app on Google Play or the Apple App Store. Hey there, sports fans. Christian Pedersen with SDPI. And as the saying goes, you save the best for last. Cathedral, Eastlake, the Open Division Baseball Championship is the final word on sports for the 2015-2016 season. Let's check that, plus the D2, D4 titles out also. Our first title game to take a look at, Division 4, Sweetwater. They blanked Bishops twice to get here, so they're playing the hot momentum. The only team standing between them in the championship is Sage Creek. They are here in their first year as a varsity program. First team to strike, though, is Sweetwater. This is how they set it up. A little C-Nice single moves a runner from first to third. That's the kind of execution that has benefited them all season long and the hustle on the back end. That translates into Ryan Galls doing what he has to do. Going to trade and out for a run. Sweetwater on the board first. On the bump for Sweetwater was Guillermo Espinoza. Moments like this, why he's there. Getting them out of a bases loaded jam in the first. Then in the second, Espinoza bringing a little more heat. He gone! But Tanner Blau provides the clutch hit just a moment later with an RBI triple. An exciting way to bring in the first run in your school's ever first CIF championship game. But then Sam Wesniak has the clutch hit up the middle to put Sage Creek on top. Question is, could Harrison Humberstone make it last? He's the kind of pitcher that knows he doesn't have to overpower everybody because he's got clutch defense that knows how to stop runs. Wesniak there, nice execution to get the lead run, but this was the signature play in the entire game. Ball up the middle with a bases loaded one out situation. What a flip, what a pick! Leo Ryan, Sam Wesniak to Bryce Busher had them pumped as they stop the Sweetwater rally and go on to win the championship by a final score of two to one. Sage Creek are your division four champions. Let's hear from some of the boys. It is, it is very special. It's, it's something I mean, to pitch and for the teammates. Everybody did a great job. Talk a little bit about the teammates that are, that are helping you out right now. Uh, I think they're all great guys. and we, uh, we may mess around a little bit, but we get the job done, which is what counts. It feels amazing, man, especially this team. I mean, great group of guys. We're all brothers out here. We were ready. There was no doubt in my mind, first pitch, that we, we were ready for it. We've been practicing all year. We've been getting after it. This is this is our dream. This is our goal. It's what you set out to do, first day of spring practice, and everybody everybody had the mindset we were going to win a CIF title this year. We had the, we finally got to go to the playoffs this year, first year of our city. And you know, it was one of those things that we got it done, and it feels unreal. Um, like I said, is that we really we kind of have a family atmosphere, and we've been here together for all three years, so we've got to grow as a group. And here it comes. <laughs> Good. Like I said, we're together. We're all together in this thing. Same goes for next year. Like I said, we've got a family atmosphere. Love all these guys. Man. But all the, all, the all the credit right here. All the credit to these players though. They're the one who earned this thing. And the and the coaching staff. So my assistants do a hell of a job as well. On now to the Division II game. San Marcos taking on Scripps Ranch. We're gonna pick this one up in the first with San Marcos already up one. Reed Norberg at the plate for Scripps Ranch. Ball up the middle, gives him a shot at a run. Zach Brasher does everything he can to try and take it away, but not quick enough. Scripps Ranch draws even. On to the third though, San Marcos had the hotter bats today. Jeremy Murphy doing all he needs to do because Jacob Blass is greased lightning coming around there to score. Adding on in the six, Evan Ianisiello, not having to hit it hard, just having to hit it where they ain't. That adds one more. This is Chase Bodman with an RBI single to left. Keeping the wheels turning as San Marcos grows the lead by another one. Jacob Blass, I can blast it. As he hits one out to left field, bringing in a pair. San Marcos now up 6-1. It's a big offensive day for them. They tacked on a couple more in the seventh. This one, Andrew Crane doing a little opposite field work. Nice touch down the right field line, bringing in another run with a double. I'm going to cap it off by taking a look at Vincent Martinez providing the last run. Martinez, little RBI 
single in the gap. Nice effort put in by Scripps Ranch, but it would not be enough to come up with the catch as San Marcos runs away with the Division II title over Scripps Ranch. Let's hear from some of them after the game. Honestly, it's one of the best feelings I've ever had in my life. This team has really come together this year. We started off kind of slow. The way we came together as a team, just to get it with this group of guys, is honestly one of the best feelings on earth. This was one of the best feelings of my life. <laughs> in the beginning of the year, we didn't think we'd make it, but pulled through. Came together as a team, really. It was really fun. Uh, it feels incredible. You know, our boys have really caught, I mean, they caught fire about a week and a half ago at the beginning of the playoffs, scoring a lot of runs. Incredible team baseball. This is. Uh, it's a dream come true. It's 15 years, I've been waiting to get here, and you know, I couldn't ask for any more. After that, only one remained. Eastlake, Cathedral Catholic, the Open Division title. Let's get it started. Connor Lund, first inning. He go! His counterpart on the mound today, Julian Escobedo, bringing chairs, asking people, where are you from? Were you born on a bayou? Runner does get to third, but he would go no further because of throwing chairs, sit him down, why not? We go to the second. Lun, understanding that being a good pitcher isn't all about strikeouts, sometimes it's just about making big pitches, getting a grounder to get out of a jam. Third inning, Cathedral finally starts bringing some offense. This one's Quinn Hoffman with an RBI single to left to score his brother Wyatt. The Hoffman's helping things out. The third inning keeps going though. Cole Mueller, I can do it too. That's a gap shot to left to keep the runs coming in. Two RBIs on the double for Mueller. Cathedral now up three. Add on one more, courtesy of Nick Nostrini. Finding a little C and I single. Just gotta hit it where they ain't sometimes. That adds on another run as Cathedral blows up for a big four run fourth. Back to Lund getting K's, woo, bringing the heat. But as we said, he understands, all you gotta do is make sure that a Hoffman is near the ball and good things will happen. Go now to the fifth. This time, Eastlake starts coming back a little bit. Ben Ramirez, double into left center, bringing in a run. This is an Eastlake team that closes in on 30 wins, can't count them out of anything. They're gonna add another one here. LJ Jones lifting one out to center. A little reach shot. Ball appears to be caught, called a, a hit. Run comes in. LJ though, he obviously thought the ball was caught because he was going back to the dugout. He stays on first, but he would get no further because he gone out there at second. That's Preston Price with the pick. This is also Price with the cat-like reflexes off the mound. Meow! That's a catch. That's a stop, that's a title. Cathedral Catholic with their first open division title in school history. Some great moments after the game as the Dons celebrated raising the banner as champions for 2016. And that's it folks, that's how the season ends. It's been a great year. Let's hear from some of our champions. It's amazing. I couldn't have picked a better team to do it with. We have a group of young guys who I really hope carry on next year and do the same thing. Unexplainable. I mean, it, it always feels great to go out as a champion. I'll be able to remember this for the rest of my life. Something that's going to go down in history for our school. I can't believe we did it for the Dons. Playing on the name on the front of the jersey instead of the number on the back. It's unreal. It's the best feeling I've ever had. Well, I tell you what, first time in school history we've won an Open Division title. Um, you know, first opportunity we've had to win an Open Division title, took advantage of it. So it's right up there with one of the best wins in school program history.